Tēnā koutou katoa. This is Moritz Lehmann of Starboard Maritime Intelligence. In this screencast, I will be talking about satellite dark vessel detections during the first day of Operation 18C. Currently, we're monitoring this light blue area in the Tasman Sea for boats fishing for southern bluefin tuna. The ships in their tracks on the screen come from transmissions of the Automatic Identification System, or AIS, a ship that wants to hide its activity can turn its AIS transceiver off and this prevents it from being easily tracked through starboard. To find out if there are ships in the area that are not transmitting their positions using AIS, we have teamed up with MDA and Unseen Labs, two companies that operate satellites for vessel detection at sea. The first data we received today came from MDA and was recorded at 8.20 on the 2nd of May 2022 UTC. So I'll talk about this one first. MDA operates RadarSat 2, a satellite that sends out radar signals and records their reflection. Hard structures, such as ships made of metal, return more radar than the ocean around them, so they stand out. This technology is called Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR. Satellite data acquisitions are identified as colored squares in Starbird's timeline at the bottom. Radar set 2 data was recorded at 8.20 UTC this morning and the detection area for the satellite is approximately 210,000 square kilometers. And the data is shown here as a grayscale image where lighter areas identify more intense radar reflections. SAR data requires a fair amount of processing and we use an automated process to identify areas of intense return signals that stand out against the surroundings. These detections are then mapped in starboard as squares and matched against positions known from AIS. Now, I'll turn off the background SAR image to better see the underlying detections. And I'll also change the vessel type filter to show all vessels instead of just fishing vessels. We identify SAR detections which coincide with the known location of a ship using a white square. I'll zoom in a little more. And clicking on this white square provides an impression, it, it provides the SAR image chip to give you, give you an, an impression of what the signal looks like. You can also check out the details of the matched vessel here. In this case, it's a cargo vessel and the Panamanian flag. And that's why it didn't show up earlier under our um, uh, fishing uh, filter. So we can see that all ships present on AIS in this detection footprint are were detected using the SAR satellite. However, there are also two detections which are not mapped to an AIS location here and here. Clicking on these detections shows you the image chip. We color them orange because we consider this is um, that this, this, there could be a vessel, but we're not 100% sure. So this has a medium confidence that it's a vessel. Other detections that look a little more intense, that look a little different, um, would be shown as red um, for a high confidence that it is a vessel. So. In this radar set two acquisitions, we find two dark detections and three AIS match detections. The second satellite detection today came from Unseen Labs and was acquired at 1128 UTC. Unseen Labs operates a fleet of satellites that detect the emissions of radars operated on board ships at sea. These radars are used for navigation or to spot seabirds, which can indicate the presence of fish. The detection area for the Unseen Lab satellite in today's scan is shown here as an irregular four-cornered shape. This shape comes about because the satellites look down from orbit sideways at an angle. Together with the Earth's curvature, such irregular footprints are produced. A summary of Unseen Labs detections is shown in the analysis box on the left. Altogether, 11 radar emitters were spotted by the satellite, and Starboard matched four of these two ships in the area based on AIS. These matches are shown 
as white squares and clicking on one of them brings up details such as geolocation and the ship to which it matches. In this Unseen Labs scan, all vessels in the area appear to have been detected. There are two vessels which are just at the periphery of the coverage area which were not picked up. There seem to be three ships here that are not detected by the satellite. On closer inspection, it turns out that these objects are not actually ships. They are AAS-equipped longliner buoys that were dropped by this Taiwanese vessel up here. Moving the time slider back a little shows that the fishing vessel drops these off only to be picking them up at a later stage. Now, in this satellite acquisition, the red squares indicate radar sources which are not matched to AIS ships, ship locations. In this scan, there are seven such dark detections. So, altogether, today was an exciting day where successful satellite data acquisitions demonstrated that known ships can be detected, and we also found several dark detections which may merit further inspection to see if they were actually fishing vessels. Tena Kotu for watching. Please stay tuned for further updates.